on today's video we'll be unboxing and doing our first impressions of this the blue peat trumpet <laughs> Today we have the unboxing of the P trumpet. Uh, went ahead and bought this since it was on sale. It is the blue model, and afterwards I'll give my first impressions. All right, so here's the box and packaging. Pretty standard. That's pretty much it that comes in the box. So we have the trumpet itself in a gig bag. Um, very similar to what we would have for the P trombone. Kind of the lower logo on the bottom left. Single zipper with two straps. Go ahead, open up. There we go. It is a gorgeous blue. Very gorgeous blue. So the first thing I noticed, it's extremely bulky right here. Um, and basically the armrest section. For your left hand these valve casings are extremely big i have the allura plastic trumpet and their valve casing is nowhere near as big as this one um yeah everything on this feels way hefty than you would you know typically imagine You also have this kind of weird pinky rest where it's really much longer and thicker than you would expect. Tuning side feels good. Okay, so that's doesn't seem like the second valve slide comes out. First comes out fine. Very sticky valves. Um, pretty sure there's some way to get into them. As far as what else is in the bag, you have the care card with your warranty. bag itself is very simple comes with two plastic mouthpieces uh, these look very si sort of similar to the Kelly plastic mouthpieces uh, one is in 3c and the other a 5c And you have the straps as well for the case. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I really do like the color. Um, the black and blue, because it's a nice, rich, dark blue. 
uh, it's very well contrasted with the black the black plastic and I guess that'll be the serial number right there very loud valves but yeah it, it just feels significantly bulkier than your typical trumpet um, even for the Allura plastic trumpet which I will compare it to it, it just feels substantially bigger and it, it almost feels like wasted plastic because there's way more plastic on this than on the Allura plastic trumpet All right, so for comparison, I have the Allura plaster trumpet right here with the P trumpet. And just by looking right here, you can see the massive difference in just terms of the bulk of the instruments. Uh, it seems like the Allura, very similar to a standard trumpet, much thinner on the valve casings over here. Um, and you know, seems like th this one still has a cap on that second valve, but all overall, it just seems like way more sleeker design, um, you know, a lot less kind of industrial rugged look. Meanwhile, with the P trumpet, everything's just kind of bulky, you know, uh, it just feels like unnecessary plastic right here. Uh, the ring right here just, again, is just is connected to the bell section and i guess because you don't have a lot of connection to the bell section itself you only have this brace right here as well as basically these other braces so i'm guessing that's the you know kind of idea but god it just it just feels big so we'll go ahead and look at my first impressions and a little bit of playing on it okay so first off um yeah, it's a very weird feeling instrument. As I said, it's way bulkier than uh, a regular trumpet and even another plastic trumpet from a different brand. Um, first thing that's going to find weird that you can't unscrew the valve caps for the valves. You actually have to do it at the bottom here and you kind of just like shift, kind of twist this over and then the spring pops out. Um, I looked at instructions, and it seems like it's very similar to the P trombone, in which you're not really supposed to put oil on it. Uh, the instructions said you could put a little bit of oil on it, valve oil on it, um, but I'm guessing they're using some type of self-lubricating technology like they do on the P trombone. Uh, so that's what I find kind of weird off set. Um, they give us two mouthpieces, uh, 5C which I always found kind of just a odd size to begin with, um, and a 3C. Uh, so here's the 5C. It's a mouthpiece. <laughs> uh, let's see. Not a big fan of these valves, but I mean, it functions. Let's try out the three C. Way more space in there, obviously. sticking a whole lot it's like still stuck <laughs> yeah third valves are a little really sticky 
I may have to go back and put some valve oil on that. Uh, feels a little stuffy. Sounds a little stuffy. it does feel easier to play than the lower plastic trumpet so definitely give it that I can definitely push air way way faster um, we're gonna try it next with a uh, metal mouthpiece and see how that feels with the horn alright so we have right here my main trumpet mouthpiece is a Bach Artisan one and a half C uh, I try to find the deepest cup that I could possibly find just because I switch back and forth a lot between uh, lower brass and upper brass so a uh, nice deep cup just kind of helps stuff for me and let's just see how this feels on it sound uh, a lot better feel to it um, yeah I, I do I do like airflow on this um, I can easily push air through here which is great because um, instantly you would kind of assume there's gonna be a lot of resistance dealing with a plastic instrument uh, I know when I tried on a plastic tuba that was the first thing I felt was just a ton of resistance it was hard to push air through um, yeah, despite what seems like more plastic uh, than necessary, yeah, it's, it's kind of a free-flowing instrument. So that is the first look at the P trumpet, blue P trumpet. I will be doing a full review on this in the future so we can get a more in-depth look at it as I have more time to really play around with it and see its capabilities and its positives and its negatives.